You talked about it. 17 and two last 19 for, uh, you know, Mar smarts last 19 outscoring teams, by the way, by about 17 points. And in that span, you tweeted out the stats, 12 and a half points, about four rebounds, almost six assists, shooting 45% from the field, 38% from three. And most notably tops in the NBA in defensive rating and in net rating. So, you know, I think a lot, a lot of that we've, we've talked so much about this, on this show in, in, uh, in, in recent weeks and, and months even is just, you know, obviously he's a polarizing figure. In fact, I would argue he's probably the most polarizing athlete in, in current Boston sports. And to me, and I'm, I'm, I'm right there in the fan club. So I've never been, uh, you know, on the opposite side of that spectrum when it comes to Marcus smart, but this is whatever it is the, we're finally seeing Marcus used the way he should be used which is, you know, don't just slot him in at point guard, use him as a point guard. And they are, and he's thriving. And we are seeing the best version of Marcus Smart right now. He's having his best year, but this isn't him becoming a very good point guard isn't new to this year. This has mm -hmm. been there for the last couple of years. There were just, people would focus on, listen, did he take maybe more threes than he should have? Probably. Have those extra ones sort of been eliminated? They've been eliminated. A lot of those came late in the shot clock or the ball swung around the ball gets up the floor. If it comes quickly back out to him, it's going to be an open three. Some of those shots were late in the shot clock because the Celtics didn't get the ball. Listen, everything is connected. You know, the basketball is a game of the knee bone is connected to the thigh bone, which is connected, you know, getting re defensive rebounds, getting up the floor. It's why Steven Adams works with Memphis getting all those that you saw it last night point. That isn't new to what happened with the Celtics last night. Steven Adams gets his big body in there and back taps offensive rebounds. So Memphis gets extra possessions, which is why their metrics shooting wise aren't great, but they get all these extra possessions because they lead the league in steals and they lead the league in rebounding. And you saw why in the game last night. So things are all connected. The Celtics defense is connected to their offense, getting the ball up the floor quickly and getting better chances. But to me, Marcus has been a really good NBA point guard for a while. I just think people are seeing it and maybe they're focusing more on it because there aren't as many threes. There aren't as many missed shots and the things that, the Marcus Smart nitpickers would focus on, that's gone now. So now all you're left with is this guy who everybody knows is a defensive player of the year candidate every single year to begin with. And then people are starting to say, wow, he's a pretty good point guard. Well, whenever that stuff happens, it's usually been happening for a while. And you just noticed it. So Timothy had asked, you know, can you explain what's changed in Smart's play? Why is he uh, such a more patient playmaker or, or are we just hitting shots and he's getting assists? But you would argue not a whole lot has changed. I think there's been tweaks, getting the ball up the floor quicker. Maybe, you know, I, again, the, the, market, the thing that's coming with Marcus game, sometimes Max and I aren't crazy about, which is the extra butter on the popcorn passes, one of which came out perfectly last night, that behind the back one to Grant you know, in his, in his corner office. But uh, I think the point guard game for Marcus, again, go back to the season. Nobody wants to talk about the 2020 season and look at the point guard play that you got for Marcus Smart that year. It was really high level stuff. But now again, the biggest difference between the Celtics in the first half and the second half of the year is they're making their shots. Their shots have been better moving and the ball's coming up the floor faster, but they're making shots now. And that's the difference between getting five assists a game and, and seven and a half.